Okay, air's hooked up, no leaks. Uh, still no leaks, that's good. It's hard to stand far enough back. There's the bundle of hoses, the screw. <clears throat> this is where I added this piece of angle iron on both sides to to tilt this up um, so take up a lot less room you can see the inside there on the other side um, it is welded on there pretty good if you were wanting to uh, put it back the way it was that's the the only thing I modified was I had to shorten up, shorten up both sides, these cross braces here. And I added that white angle iron up there to just to tilt it up higher a bit. Um, and I took, took that bolt out. I figured, to be honest, it's not like it's gonna fall apart, but you can see here hopefully the uh, that used to be here so I pulled it up anyway so really the only consequence of doing this is you can't use the uh, original crank handle because of course now it hits the leg here so what I've been doing I just put a got an eight point socket with a half inch drive ratchet that I stick on there and it I think it works just as well as as this um, it uh, like I said I think the floor space is worth worth that little bit of inconvenience but screws and chains I mean everything seems to be in good shape I did it took some steel wool and Clean the flash rust off of this as I haven't used it forever. But everything slides real easy. Got all the pins. Um, it's got, right now it's plumbed for that. Um, there is a coily hose here. It goes with it if you want it. Um, other than that, that's it.